to be showing you how to install and run Lightbox++, which is a script that um, is used for HTML for your images. And the first thing you're going to do is navigate to the blog.codefidelity website, which is blog.codefidelity.com. Mm -hmm. It's uh, basically a blog about uh, web design. At the top, you'll see these navigation bars, and you'll click on the Lightbox++ plus plus one. And in here is uh, all this information about Lightbox++. Plus plus. Um, it's actually a refinement of a, an original script, just Lightbox script. And it tells you why it's modified and what you can do with it. Um, samples of the work and also installation directions. What we're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom where it says download Lightbox++. Plus plus. Just hit that link right there. And it will show up in you downloads folder there it is right there and what we're gonna do with this zip file is just click and drag it over to um, the more convenient folder where your website is located and we can close out of this downloads window and what we're gonna do is um, expand this file this is basically a file containing all the scripts and um, images that go with Lightbox that you'll need for the website. And after this is done, you'll see the JavaScript and index page, which is um, pretty much another example of how to use the Lightbox++. You'll have an images folder, which is um, all the icons that are used in Lightbox, and as well as the CSS. That is um, all the customization of the Lightbox. And we don't need the index, so you can just click the CSS, the images, and the JavaScript file, and you click and drag those over to your site root folder. And in my folder, I already have a gallery put together of all the images that I'm going to be using in this site. So after you drag mm -hmm. those over, you can just go ahead and close that out as well. And now you will head over to your Dreamweaver site and create a new document. Um, I'm just going to do an HTML with nothing on it. If you already have a website that you plan on using this in, you can go ahead and start with that. But um, it would probably be best to start with a practice just to make sure you don't mess up the original file that you used. And first, what I'm going to do is save it into my site loop folder. And after that, we're going to head back over to the Code Fidelity website and. Um, Towards the middle of the site, under installation directions, there will be four lines of code. And you just take those and copy and paste them into your Dreamweaver document. And in this installation, it tells you you need to put it in the head tag. So right under the title right here, we will just paste that right in there. And then hit your refresh button. And at the top, all four of these scripts that you um, just pretty much copy and paste it to link them in your document will all show up. And if you click on them, just to make sure that they're working, if it's not working, you'll get an error message, and there will be nothing in the document right here. So you can just click on all four just to make sure that there's information in there, or the CSS is there, just to ensure that it's actually working. After that, we're going to go to the design side, or code, whatever is easiest for you. And then we're going to insert our images that we're going to be using. Like I said, I already have um, three set aside for this, so I'll just insert those right now. And you will just do a minor thumbnails that go into larger images, so you put your thumbnail in there and then with the link, you'll definitely want to link it to something in this Lightbox++, Plus Plus. that's the whole reason of using it. So um, when you click on the image, it will open into something different. So for mine, I'm going to be doing a thumbnail that will open into a larger image. And it will show you, um, after you insert your image, you just want to make sure that the link is actually working. So it goes into the thumbnail to the larger image. So since that is working, I'm going to head back over to Dreamweaver and add my other two images. And now we have all three of our images inserted into the Dreamweaver document. And you just want to check in in your browser to make sure that all three of them are working that they are all opening up in their separate windows.
And now what we're going to do is add the lightbox feature so you can head back over to your blog and scroll down a little bit past the scripts that we inserted and there will be a line of code with the image in it and you're going to need to copy this rel tag just the one right in the middle you can just copy and paste that and go back over to your Dreamweaver document to find your image and if you look in the blog you can see that it's right after where it calls out the image so we're going to do the same thing in our Dreamweaver document just space in and paste it and then you're going to do with that with all three of your images and again preview it in Chrome or whatever browser you're using and we can see that this here is the light box feature they have a close button right here it's a grayed out background with a white border on it and again you just want to make sure that all three of your images are working before you proceed to any other steps so we can see that the image is working and um, there's a spot here that you can put a caption and that is what I'm actually going to insert next so we can close out this preview head back over to your blog and right after the rel tag that you inserted there will be uh, another code that says title equals my caption so we'll go back over to Dreamweaver get the first picture do a space after the rel tag and then insert that line of code and you can just put in any uh, caption that you want you can always change it later And again, just do it with all three of the images. Once again, preview it in your browser. Make sure everything turned out all right. And right on the bottom right there, you can see your caption. So we're just going to check all three of them. That one's there. And there's the third one right there. And the final step to getting your light box feature working is adding your images in a group so the user can go back and forth between the pictures and that's going to be this line of code right here and all of this is uh, the word group inside of two brackets right after your rel light box so you'll head back over to Dreamweaver and then right here we'll do a bracket you don't even need a space and then close the bracket And I'll obviously do that with all three of your images. If you want to go create different groups, you can just um, do group one and group two to keep them in separate. So you just open this up. And you'll see at the bottom now right under the caption it says image one of three, which lets you know that all three of them are going to be working. Your next buttons are right on the top right here as well as previous buttons right here so that's all working properly and like I said if you want to add them in different groups I can show you how to do that you can do uh, group 2 let's say for this last image preview that in your browser save it go back over to your images and now you'll see it says image 1 of 2 so the first two images are linked together just like that and then the third image is all in a group on its own. So those are the basic steps to installing your Lightbox feature. It's always a really good feature to add to your site, make it look a little more professional, and stand out from everyone else.